Welcome everyone to HFN. Today is January the 9th, 2020. Here to give you all this very crucial update in Bitcoin. The market has identified a change in tone, meaning that that movement to the upside that we started all the way back on the 3rd of January is in jeopardy. Now, before I get started in this price prediction of Bitcoin and where we anticipating it to go, if this is your first time seeing our video, hit that subscribe button, like and share the video. Join us on our Facebook page because that is the location to which we will place the overall outcome from our price predictions in the cryptocurrency market. So make sure you follow us there on Facebook. Join us on our Twitter page as well as on Instagram to make sure you stay updated on the news that we are delivering on those other social media platforms. Now, just to give you all guys a heads up, the last time we did our video in Bitcoin was on the 6th of January. We wanted to see if the market in Bitcoin was going to have enough momentum to break above $7,800 and immediately following the next day. It did. But the change occurred right here on the 8th of January. With the same amount of volume from the 7th of January, we closed lower. So this is question time right now in the market in Bitcoin to determine whether or not we'll be able to hold $7,800. So how can you find out what's the likelihood in the market for Bitcoin to hold that price? You got to break it down to an hourly time frame. So let's do that now. Taking a real quick look at Bitcoin on the four hour chart. And you can still tell that the market in Bitcoin is still weak even trading right there around $7,800. You want it to see strength price bars around $7,800 to indicate that the market is going to find that area for support and move higher. We're not seeing that yet on the four hour chart. Three hour bars. We're still getting some indications that this market in Bitcoin is still going to continue to see lower prices. Two hour real quick again. Massive weakness is being seen in Bitcoin, especially on the two hour time frame. One hour chart, I'm still seeing the same thing too. Matter of fact, the volume on the one hour chart definitely came in on those two down bars. So we got weakness into the market in Bitcoin. The question now for us is determining how low this market in Bitcoin can go. Okay, so I am expecting the market in Bitcoin to break below $7,800. Let me be the first one to tell you. The question is, how low will this market in Bitcoin go? So you have to follow a couple of ascending lines in this space for Bitcoin in order to maintain, you know, the overall strength in the market for Bitcoin. So we went ahead and identified the overall trend that this market in Bitcoin is going through on an hourly time frame. Now, I'm going to play this on the two hour, though. OK, now. We cannot allow the market in Bitcoin break below this ascending line in order for us to see continual movement higher in price. This last two hour bar confirms that the market in Bitcoin is still weak. So we are going to play the market in Bitcoin movement to the downside now. Okay. So we are going to play the market in Bitcoin movement lower on the two hour time frame. TP for us, take a little bit off the table, will be around seventy seven hundred dollars. All right. That will be the location to where we will be expecting a market in Bitcoin to go and take some TP. Which would be about one point six five percent market move to the downside as I zoom out. The market can still come all the way back down here to seventy six hundred dollars. A very quick touch could also be very possible. So we would definitely TP the market at seventy six hundred dollars as well. So it's about one hundred dollar difference from where our first TP area is versus our second. So we got a game plan. The expectation into the market in Bitcoin is for it to continue to see lower prices. And that forecast will continue on until we see the market in Bitcoin break 
on a strength bar above $7,900. So until then, this is our expectations. Questions, comments, let us know. You know where we're at. Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, our own website, hufinancer.com, and then here on YouTube. Join us. It's easy. Make sure you maintain your profitability. I'll see you all on the next one.